Hello friends, warm greetings from Edufin. Today we have with us Rahul Bansal. He has recently got his Denmark study visa on basis of his 12th score and IELTS bands. And he will be traveling to his uh, destination that is Denmark very very soon. Probably in just few days from now. He was just booking his air ticket before we started this. So in this small conversation, we'll discuss with Rahul why did he choose Denmark? What is his academic background? What kind of gap he has? What kind of IELTS he has? And then we'll ask him about admission process, visa process, so that if you are looking at Denmark as a destination, you are absolutely clear that how the visa happens, how the admission happens, and you can make an informed decision. But before we start, many, many congratulations to Rahul uh, and his mother on getting this study visa and uh, well-deserved uh, uh, visa for Rahul. So Rahul, uh, starting our conversation, let's start uh, by telling the audience that why did you choose Denmark? Denmark mein aapko kya aisa acha laga? What attracted you to Denmark that you decided to apply Denmark? Actually sir, it's like a long journey for me. Yeah. Uh, in 2019, I completed my 12th. Then after I tried to apply for a Canada, but due to this COVID pandemic, you, as we all know, I stuck or I can't able to achieve my visa on time. And then after I focused towards the Germany mm -hmm. and I got admission from the, uh, German public university as well, where my studies completely sponsored by the German government. But due to the appointments, I don't go, I, I won't got that appointments mm. from embassy Delhi because of this COVID pandemic. Then after uh, I was literally frustrated for <laughs> all this process because it takes a lot of time and efforts. But uh, luckily I meet Rishabh sir and Maninda sir that can completely change my life. On that particular day I discussed with them and they guided me I should move to Denmark because its higher education standard is way more better than Canada or or we can say Australia. So yes, I opt for Denmark. Wonderful, wonderful. So very nicely explained to you by Rahul. Last two, three years have been very difficult for students, especially with Canada and Australia and other embassies. And uh, of course, Denmark has its own advantages. As he's saying, it is a very, very high education standard, clean place, less racism, less crime. But above all, it's a very, very happy and wealthy nation. People look to welcome international students. So Rahul, moving forward, uh, please explain to audience about the admission process. Uh, about visa process, we'll do it later. So just about the admission process, how much days it took, did, was there any entrance test done by university, was there any interview, whatever you want to tell about admission process. Actually, the process for uh, Copenhagen Business School is way more easier than other universities, yes. I can say. It's like uh, I got my offer letter in just uh, 30, 30 days uh, after applying that and uh, after uh, submitting my academic backgrounds as well as with my ALS, I got admission within 30 days and then after I applied for my uh, Denmark student visa and within a tam time span of uh, two months, I got uh, my visa. Wonderful, wonderful. So um, just to reiterate, uh, during admission, the Copenhagen Business School or its destination college did not take any extra entrance test or any extra interview straight away on the basis of IELTS score as well as plus two, he was able to get the admission letter. Now moving on to visa process. So Raul, if you could tell, was there any interview conducted by embassy or if it was, then how was the interview? If it was not, how was your procedure at VFS? Actually, in my case, I was lucky. I don't, uh, I, I don't came through the interview process, but yes, uh, in the Denmark, uh, everybody uh, have to give the interview but due to this covid pandemic everybody uh, process is a bit easier people are going to embassies uh, the environment of embassies uh, is too friendly i can say i just submitted my file the, the papers they give to me i just submitted to the vfs and within i can say 20 days i got my visa without any embassy interview wonderful wonderful so friends i'll just like to explain denmark vfs visa process is very simple the visa form is partly filled by college partly filled by you and then you, all you have to do is go to vfs with the documents and submit all the documents and then the magic courier comes within 20 30 days and you are 
are off to Denmark. It's a very easy and smooth process. Gone are those days when it was very cumbersome, but nowadays it is quick and smooth. Of course, your file must be correct and everything must be there that we will at Edufin ensure that everything is there in your file. So lastly, moving on, uh, Rahul, what kind of feedback about Edufin, about Marinda sir, you will like to give to the audience and will you like to recommend Edufin to them? Actually, I am feeling so well made. Uh, so good to meet them because they guided me throughout the whole process as but yes when i meet them it was just like a speed rocket it just happens in a two to three months i got my visa and i am really very satisfied with their services thank you so much rahul and uh, you and uh, ma'am we wish you many many happy days ahead and a great career for your son in denmark congratulations once again thank you so much sir thank Have you nice thank you